Hey, welcome to Spencer's Academy, where we are focused on solving Olympiad mathematics competition question. And if that is what interests you, and you are new to this channel, go ahead and click that subscribe button and make sure to turn on that notification bell so you don't miss my next video. We have an interesting question, Olympiad question to be precise on the board that we need to solve, which says, let A, B, C be distinct non-zero real numbers such that a plus 1 over b is equal to b plus 1 over c is equal to c plus 1 over a. Prove that a, b, c is equal to 1. Well, uh, some couple of students tried solving this question and they got it all wrong. Maybe because of missing some concept in mathematics that it should have applied to make them get the answer. But in this video, I'm going to show you every step to solve this question so let's say solution here uh, the first thing we're going to do is to equate this first one to the second one so let's do that real quick so a plus 1 over b is equal to b plus 1 over c are you seeing that so i'm equating this to this now, watch, I'm going to carry this fraction to the right so that the fractions are on the right, but I'll carry this B to the left. So the fraction should be on one side, but the ordinary value should be on the other side. So I have A here. Now B, when it moves to this side, becomes minus B, right? Equal to, we already have 1 over C here on the right, but when this plus 1 over B crosses, it becomes minus 1 over B. Are you seeing that? Good. So I have A minus B to be equal to, we're going to take LCM here since it is a fraction. The LCM of C and B is BC. Now, BC divide by C. C we cancel off, leaving behind B. So B times 1 is B, right? Minus. Now, BC divide by B. B we cancel off leaving behind C. So C times 1 is what? C. So our A minus B gives us this. That is from equating this first one and the second one. Now let's equate the second one to the third one. So you notice the step? That's what we're doing. So let's do that. We have the second one which is B plus 1 over C and we're going to equate it so C plus 1 over A. Now, when we do this, what are we going to get? Uh, just as we did this first one, we have the fraction to be on the right, or we have the ordinary values to be on the left. So B is here, B. I'm going to have to move this C to the left so that it becomes minus C. So this is equal to, I already have 1 over A here on the right, 1 over A. Uh, but I have to move this plus 1 over C to the right. So it becomes minus 1 over C. So B minus C becomes what? Take your LCM because it's a fraction. The LCM of A and C is AC. So AC divided by A, A will cancel out, leaving behind C. So C times 1 is C minus AC divided by C. C we cancel off leaving behind A. So A times 1 is A. Now notice our B minus C gave us this result. Now the next step is for us to compare this last one to the first one because we haven't done that before. So compare this which is C plus 1 over A. We're going to compare it to the first which is A plus 1 over B. Are you seeing that? Good. Remember? The ordinary item should be on the left. So this is C. When A crosses, it becomes minus A. Equal to, so I already have 1 over B here before. When plus 1 over A crosses, it becomes minus 1 over A. Now, this is going to give us what? So we're going to take LCM. So C minus A will be equal to, what's the LCM of B and A? The LCM of B and A is AB, right? So AB divided by B, B we cancel off, leaving behind A. So A times 1 is A. Minus, 
A, B divided by B, A will cancel off leaving behind B. So B times 1 will give you B. So this is the three result that we have. Let me point them out. We have this, we have uh, this, and we have this. You know, we're going to multiply these things together. That means we'll multiply. Oh no, this is not a result. This is a result. We're going to multiply A minus B, B minus C, and C minus A together. So let's do that real quick. Let's do that real quick. So A minus B, uh, B minus A, and C minus A. We're going to multiply them together. Let's see if we're on the right track. So we have A minus B, B minus C, C minus A. Let's see that. Let's see that. A minus B, B minus C, not this. B minus C and C minus A. Very good. So now this is equal to, what is our A minus B? What is the result we have? Let's see. A minus B, we got it to be B minus C over BC. So let's write it there. B minus C over BC. Now we're going to multiply it by B minus C. Let's see the result we have for B minus C. B minus C is C minus A over AC. So let's write that down. C minus A over AC. Now lastly, C minus A. What is the result we got? C minus A, we got A minus B over AB. A minus B over AB. A minus B over AB. Good. That is it. So we have multiplied them together. So this is A minus B times B minus C times C minus A, which is equal to... Now, we can only just multiply the bottom first to make it easier. But notice that if we multiply the bottom, we're going to have them double, double, right? That means B will be doubled, A will be doubled, and C will be doubled. So that means we're going to have something like this. A squared, B squared, and C squared, right? Good. So let's write this one as we see it here. B minus C, C minus A, and A minus B. Now watch what will happen. A minus B here. We cancel A minus B here. Then B minus C will cancel B minus C. C minus A will cancel C minus A. That means what is left here is 1. And what is left here is also 1, right? So I have 1 to be equal to 1 over... Now, notice that they have a common power. Uh, which means I can group them together. A, B, C. Then giving them the common power they have according to indices. We can cross multiply. So this item times 1 gives us ABC squared equal to 1. So in order to remove this square, my ABC will need to have to take the square root of both sides. So leaving behind plus or minus root 1 here. And the square root of 1 will give you what? 1. So since we are only interested in the positive part, so our ABC is equal to 1, as the question asks us to prove. You know, it's very interesting that these steps are very, very important. Whenever you see a question like this, I tell you, when you follow this process, you will not be wrong. You will always be right. And if this is what interests you, where we solve a mathematics Olympiad question, you're going to have to click the subscribe button and turn off your notification bell because you're going to gain more on my upcoming videos. And until next time, take care.